Good evening. My name is Mark Edward. Those of you who knew about Sylvia Brown probably knew that she never got anything right. Her score for predictions was zero. Nothing. Nada. That being said, it's not likely that she will grace us with her appearance for a seance. But I thought tonight, given the circumstances of her life, I would attempt to bring her back. That is, summon a demon. For the crucible for our experiment, I'm going to use a blender. This is a blender made famous by Sylvia and Montel Williams. It was called the Health Master. Tonight we'll refer to it as the Death Master. This is it right here. Yes, she tried many things. In fact, I have a small bit of a seance that she tried with a Ouija board when she was a child. It didn't go very well. Now, with any sort of invocation, it's always best to have protection. When you have intercourse of any kind, especially with demons, it is very important that you protect yourself from outside forces. And I wouldn't want any of you watching this to go home with any unsounds or have bad dreams later on. So I'm going to read this small sigil. This is from the seventh book of Solomon. Very interesting hieroglyphics that I will now read. Spirits, protect us tonight using the Amon-Ra system. I can't really read this. Let me get a little closer to the light. Using the Amon-Ra system, we will do... Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Anyway, I guess we'll go ahead anyway. I, I, I don't know what will happen, but I'm going to also try and get a message using spirit slates. These are spirit slates used by mediums in seances. I'm going to number the sides to make sure each one is absolutely blank. This will be side number one. This will be side number two. That leaves side number three right here. And finally, side number four. In between the slates, a small piece of chalk for the spirits to write with. So tonight I have gone to great expense to get the right proportions and potions for this experiment. I did a lot of research and I've purchased some things on eBay that will prove hopefully very powerful. First and foremost, this was very hard to get. I won't even say how I got it or where it's been all these years, but to start off, about a cup and a half of mother's milk from Joan Crawford. Then I have, also very important in the work that I do, grave dirt. You may have heard of this. This is the real stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I got this from a friend of mine who works in the cemetery digging graves when he's not going to AA meetings. So here's here's to you, Johnny, wherever you are. A little more, why not? Then I also have a few other things I have. This was very hard to get. This is a, um, a fingernail from James Van Prague's index finger. Hell only knows where that's been. I could not get any actual tongue of dog, so tonight we're going to use a few small bits of rancid bacon. And then of course, what would a potion be without a few drops of tincture of belladonna? Just a bit, a wee bit. And then what else have I? Oh yes, I have some crushed snake's fangs. A few of these never hurts. <laughs> and to round out the recipe, oh yes, we what would a recipe be without some rat's blood? Here's to you, Sylvia.
And finally, two last small bits. I could not get any wool of bat. So we're going to have to settle for a few pieces of lint from Charles Manson's prison shorts. And then just for, just for good measure, poison ivy, tried poison ivy. You know, we forgot to get cigarette butts, but what the heck, I don't smoke, so we'll have to do with what we've got. So, I am now going to try and propose an incantation to Sylvia, wherever she may be. So here we go. Sylvia, Sylvia Brown, we would like to reach out to you tonight. Will you give us a sign? a physical sign that you are with us tonight. Will you cross the ethereal path and speak to us? Speak to us, Sylvia. We're waiting. Speak to us, Sylvia. We're waiting. Nothing. I'm a little disappointed. I certainly expected something to happen. Oh, jeez. What's that? Sylvia, are you with us tonight? Sylvia, give us one grind for yes, two for no. Are you with us? She, she seems to be there. Sylvia, this is amazing. Sylvia. Can you maybe give us some sort... This is amazing. I can't believe it. This blender isn't even plugged in, ladies and gentlemen. Sylvia, again, you are there, yes? She is there. Sylvia, since you're there, I, I want to ask some questions about what it's like on the other side. So, Sylvia, maybe you could just uh, give us a few, uh, a few ideas about what's going on there. Maybe an EVP or something, because it's kind of hard to understand what you're saying. Sylvia, go ahead. Tell, speak to us. S -s give us some of your messages from the other side. What is it like on the other side, Sylvia? Can you tell us? Yes? Is that a... Is that a letter? Is that a, is that a name with a it starts with an with an M? It has an M in it. No, no, no. Wait. Is it a J? I, I can't. I can't. I can't understand, Sylvia. I can't understand what you're saying, Sylvia. Sylvia. I don't. I don't understand. I can't figure it out, Sylvia. All right, Sylvia. That's enough, Sylvia. Stop, Sylvia. Go. Shut up, Sylvia. Go back. This is so embarrassing. Sylvia, please. Please. Please go back. Oh, Sylvia, I know you're trying to trying to say something. I can't stand it. Please, be gone. Be on. Ghostly specter, ghoul or fiend. Nevermore be thou convened. Shepherd's ward and holy right, vanish thee into the night. She's calm. I can't say I'm unhappy that she's left. She's left us. It was made me very uneasy, took a lot out of me, and I don't know if there's a message or not on the slates. Let's see what we have. Here's the chalk. Side number two, there's nothing on side number two. Side number four. Side number three, doesn't look good. Side number one. She's left us a message. Chris is a mama's boy. SS. Who's Chris? 